Not only do 92% of Americans say the economy is in bad shape now, 38% think it's getting worse, not better. By all accounts, the biggest problems are Social Security and Medicare. As baby boomers retire, the nation faces tens of trillions of promised benefits the government cannot pay for, cannot pay for. A close look shows the bill is jam-packed with lawmakers' pet projects. Jam-packed. The Catholic faith says, as a matter of teaching, as a matter of faith, as a matter of dogma, we can't accept this. Right. And you can't ask us to choose between adherence to an unconstitutional, illegal law right. and our obedience to God. History made in Washington state tonight as the biggest hurdle to gay marriage is passed. George W. Bush limited funding for research on the grounds that using embryos was morally wrong and should not be funded by the government. In a sharp reversal from his predecessor, Barack Obama is clearing the way for federal funding of embryonic stem cell research. There are about 60 million Christians who are eligible to vote, but people would be shocked to know that about half of them are not registered and are not voting. And so by going to churches and to conservative colleges with our values bus, partnering with the Heritage Foundation, we hope to take this message of your money, your values, your vote all across the country in key states where the elections could be decided by a handful of votes. How do we get government back under control? What is appropriate spending for government? That's where heritage and our fundamental ideas come into play. That's where our whole plan of saving the American dream comes into play. That's why we're so excited and enthusiastic about telling the American people what's in that plan and having them tell their congressmen what it's all about. We're simply giving a vehicle, so to speak, for people to express themselves, get involved in the process, register these like-minded voters to vote, and then turn them out on election day so we can make a difference and save the American dream. So if we combine what we do on the economic side with what the Family Research Council does on the social side and we put them together, we find out that they're really indivisible. You can't have a good economy if you don't have a solid social framework undergirding it. And if you've got a solid social framework, you have to have upward ec economic mobility. So the two really go hand in glove. And that's why it's so exciting to be able to partner with Tony Perkins and our good friends at Family Research Council and be able to do this bus tour all over the country.